What was it like turning up on the set the first day? And what... I was very nerve-wracking. I was actually shaking in my boots. But I think once you get into the, the swing of things, you're OK. Is there a lot of you in Buddy? Well, there had to be, a, but there are, there are a few differences. Like, um, you know, Buddy was brought up in a very provincial background, you know, whereas I was quite comfortable. And also, his parents are splitting up, and mine are still together after a very long time. <laughs> something silly, like 50, 25 years or something. <laughs> what, what was the hardest film scene to film, the whole lot? Um, the hardest to film was um, the scene... Uh, the fight scene in the pub because I had to be on stage and then this huge fight breaks out in front of me and I had to like run through this crowd with my um, guitar above my head and the times we like got I fell over and people pushed me over and someone thumped me I dropped the guitar and it went on for hours. <laughs> Did you have to do a lot of um, retakes on that? Yeah, billions. We d it took about two days to film that I think in the end, just me walking through. You know? And how long was the scene in the end? It was about five seconds. <laughs> was it worth it? I think so. I think it came out good in the end. I think they used one where I mucked up. I think they used one where I actually fell over at the end. So, I mean, did you get any um, acting training at all, though? A any sort of formal or informal training before you started, or...? No, nothing at all. I, did, I think I did a school play when I was three. <laughs> and that was it. And you simply rocked up on the set and there you were. And acting. that was it, yeah, that was it. So... Do, have you got any other um, roles lined up, or are you letting your musical career... Yeah, play, to play? be honest, Mike, because... You know, I've always been a musician uh, since I was like 11 years old, um, and I, I've now got a good in. You know, the film gave me a great springboard into the business, um, and now I'm being successful with my music. I'm going to concentrate this year. I'm going on tour this year. I'm making um, another album. I'd love to go into films though, uh, but just not this year. I have been offered a few little bits and pieces which I've had to turn down. But these things you have to do. W were there um, <laughs> any embarrassing moments on the film? Um. There were a few embarrassing moments, actually. I think one of them was uh, doing the, the scene with Lisa, um, where she had to take her clothes off. Um, and to make her feel comfortable, the rest of the, the crew took their clothes off as well. <laughs> so that was quite embarrassing. You know, there's the cameraman behind here, like, with no clothes on, <laughs> just to make her feel comfortable. What, what advice did your parents give you about acting? Oh, get out the business before it's too late. <laughs> that was my mum. And your dad? I, I, well, dad, mum had a lot of advice to give, like, because she'd done films before, and uh, she just kind of braced me for what it was going to be like. Hard work, which is what it was. Was it really hard work? Oh, yeah, incredibly hard work. Well, it's up, you know, five o'clock in the morning every morning, and, you know, filming all day, go home, learn your lines, get up again. Oh, incredible. But you do get into the swing of it after a while, did you as find, I said before. Did you find learning lines a difficulty? No, that was the easy bit actually, because you just learn the lines that you... I knew the script, obviously, but you, you, you kind of learn the lines that um, you need for the next day. So if you, you read it just before you go to sleep, it seems to stay in your brain, what it did with me. If, if you were having your um, life played in a, in, in a film, who would you like to have playing you? Um, Bart Simpson. <laughs> he's blonde, isn't he? <laughs> he's my idol, you see. I think he's a great actor, Bart. You know, he could do a good job. Perhaps Rod Stewart as the older me. <laughs> Looking glass Do you see what I see? Someone standing there Who looks so think of your own acting? I mean, if you sort of looked at it... Um... Well, I think anyone would say... Um, I mean, I liked... I, I thought it was... I mean, I'm, I'm really pleased with how it came out, but everyone would say I'd love to go and do it again because um, I think I could do it better, but, um, you know, you'd say that until the cows come home. I mean, if you had a chance to do it again, I mean, what would you have done better? I don't know. The, the thing is, I think it would be different now, um, and it probably not as, not as good, you know, because Buddy was quite a, a sensitive... Um, character that needed that innocence about him um, and I probably would be different now because I'm more confident as a person now so you know maybe I would leave it as it is. Mm. Did, did, you, um, did you get sort of quite self-conscious when you were acting? No you can't 
you can't get self-conscious. It's like having an ego. It's like writing a song with somebody. You can't have an ego. Um, you just have to do it and just feel exactly how you think it should be. There's no point in thinking about what you look like because um, you, you'll always look like you're self-conscious and, uh, and worried about something and it will never come off. So you have to forget anything and just do it. Is it very different from performing on a stage in front of a live audience? Yeah, it is different, yeah, because you don't get the... the you're not playing to an audience. You're, play, you're just concentrating on if you're doing a scene with one person. It's just between you and them, and you have to listen to what they say. It's a completely different sensation. Do, do you prefer to have a live audience? I like both, you know. I mean, I love prancing around on stage and playing to an audience, but I also like um, just acting with one person. It's good. I think um, an all-time idol is probably James Dean. A lot, you know, perhaps a lot of people would say that, uh, but you know, he just had that charisma, and you just had to look at him, and you just couldn't keep your eyes off him. You know, he's he's got that kind of. Well, he's he was brilliant. You know, very natural actor, and probably Rebel Without a Cause. You know, the forerunner of all um, teenage films, I think. Would you like to do a remake of it? Uh, I don't think you could ever remake that film, not without James Dean, anyway. I'd like to play James Dean. Chesney, who, who's influenced you most in your music and acting career? Uh, well, with music, um, people like John Lennon is a big idol of mine, you know, songwriting-wise, he's a genius. Prince, in fact, is uh, one, of my one of my favourites. I don't model myself on him. What, what about your acting career? Well, acting, you know, I, I hadn't really thought of until I did the film. It was uh, almost like, uh, uh, well, here I am, I'm an actor. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about it, but as I said before, John Malkovich, I think is a fantastic natural actor. I like people that, that act naturally, you know, that can really do it just from the top of their head. People like um, John Malkovich, as I said, Dustin Hoffman's, I think, is another one. Great. What, um, tell me, what, when, when's your next single due out, and what is it? The next single is Secrets of the Heart, and it will be out in September. And it's a song of mine from the album. Would you mind humming it? <laughs> I've already played it for you on the piano. <laughs> Unless you want blood. <laughs> well, now you mention it. <laughs> Are you planning to do a tour to go along with it? Yes, I'm touring the whole of the UK, so come and see me at a theatre near you. Um, I'm playing London, Glasgow, Manchester, Liverpool, um, everywhere. You, know, you name it, I'm playing in the UK. Are you rehearsing yet? Well, I'm just going to have a little bit of a holiday, and then I'm going to come back and take out the whole of September um, to rehearse. Do you find that's a special problem? And has being sort of you know, famous, does it leave you much free time to enjoy on your own? No, none at all, actually. Um, you know, I mean, I'm holiday now, and, and what am I doing? Filming. <laughs> no, I'd, to be honest, it's, I haven't really had a proper days off in about six months. Does that bother you? Well, yes, actually, come to think of it. Where's my manager? Give me a day off! What, what, I mean, if you had a bit more time off, what would you like to do, ideally? I'd like to do this, actually. <sighs> Sit and sunbathe. Is that all right? You don't mind, do you? I don't mind. You can do it. Where, where do you reckon you'll be in ten years' time? Well, I'd, um, what, you mean in my career? Mm. Well, I hope, you know, my aspirations are that um, I will still be around as, a, as an artist, music artist. I hope to have done a couple more films as well. Um, I hope to be still here having you want to talk to me. <laughs>
Chesney Hawk's great new album, Buddy's Song, is out now. I 